I want to show you how easy it is to budget with our spreadsheets. And what's better, you don't need any technical background to use our tools. The charts and dashboards are fully automated, making it quick and easy to manage your finances. To get access to your budget planner, you'll need to open the PDF and click the link to access the Google Sheets template. Make sure to save an editable version on your Google Drive by going to File and then make a copy. Now that you have access to the editable template within Google Sheets, you'll notice four tabs at the bottom, Categories and Goals, Transactions, Budget Dashboard and 12-Month View. We'll begin this tutorial with the Categories and Goals section. In this section you'll need to define all your income and expense categories. You have up to a max of 20 income and expense categories that you're able to define which should be more than enough. Please note that we've highlighted any cells that requires you to input data as light orange. Here are some examples of income and expense categories which you can use as a guide. If you don't need them you can replace or delete them. After you've defined your income and expense categories you'll need to set your goals for each. These goals are the amounts you expect to earn or spend for each category. You'll then be able to measure against your goals on the dashboards. First, enter a monthly goal for your income and expense categories. In our income example, we expect to earn $1,600 each month from our main income, and expect to earn $200 each month from other income. Once you enter the monthly goal, highlighted in light orange, the other time periods will be calculated automatically. In our expense example, we expect to pay $100 each month for childcare and clothes expenses. Again, once you enter the monthly goal, the other time periods will be calculated automatically. Finally, you'll need to define your savings accounts. This can include savings, investment accounts or rainy day funds. Once you've defined these, you'll need to enter the percent of savings that you want to allocate. In this example, we have 30% allocation to our savings account, 10% to our investment fund, 50% to credit card debt payoff and 10% to our rainy day fund. At the top you can see the total amount you plan to make for the year, your annual income goal, and the total you expect to save, your annual savings goal. Your annual savings is simply your total annual income goals minus your total annual expenses. Now that your categories and goals have been defined, I'll walk you through entering your transactions. In this section you'll be entering all your transactions each month and then tagging them with the relevant income and expense categories that you defined before. When entering each transaction you need to enter a date, then select whether the transaction is an income or expense from the drop-down list. Next you'll need to select the category the transaction relates to. All the categories and goals that you've defined will show up here in a drop-down list. Next you have the details field which is a free text field where you can add any additional information about the transaction. Finally, you'll need to enter the amount which must always be a positive value. It doesn't matter if the transaction is an income or expense, make sure the amount is always positive. And that's it for the transactions section. The next part is the budget dashboard section which contains all the dynamic graphs, charts and where you'll be able to review your finances. This dashboard may look complicated but we've made it super simple for you to use. The charts and data displayed on this dashboard is driven by the time period that you've selected. All you need to do is enter your month, year and time period and everything updates automatically. Like before, any cells highlighted in light orange will be cells that you need to input data. In our example, we have December 2023 as the date. We also have the yearly time period selected. All the graphs, charts and numbers are based on 12 months of data between January 2023 and December 2023 and update automatically. You have several time periods that you can select. Monthly, quarterly, yearly, and full history. So, if we select monthly, the data will just show for December 2023. If we select quarterly, the data will be from October 1, 2023 to December 31, 2023. This makes reviewing different time periods as simple as a click. If you select full history, the dashboard will be based on your full transaction history. So, if you entered two years worth of transactions, you'll see your budget for the whole two years. You'll also notice that the month and year inputs will be blanked out. This is because these inputs are ignored when you select full history. I'll now give an overview of all the charts and numbers on the budget dashboard. At the top, you have your actual income, expenses and savings. Your savings is simply the difference between your income and expenses. This data is all based on the time period selected. You can then see your actual figures versus your goals as both numbers or as a graph, depending on what you prefer. This allows you to easily see if you've exceeded or fell short of your goals. Your actual figures are shown in orange and your goals in green. And towards the bottom we have your income and expense breakdown versus your goals. 
This is a great way to see exactly what areas are contributing most to both your earnings and spending. Remember, these income and expense categories are completely customizable. This means the budget planner can be fully tailored to you. And finally, your savings allocation. This shows the amount you should have saved in each of your accounts based on your goals. This is calculated by using your savings total and then splitting it into all your different savings accounts. These savings accounts were defined in the categories and goals worksheet. The final part is the 12-month view, which shows your income and expenses across each month, allowing you to see trends and better manage your finances. The dates shown in this view are based on those entered on the budget dashboard. So, if you entered December 2023 on the budget dashboard, this will show the last 12 months up to December 2023. At the top you can see monthly trends of your total income and total expenses, giving you a better understanding of your spending habits. Below this you can see a breakdown of your income and expenses across each month. This provides a much more detailed look into all your finances. And there we have it. This was a tutorial on how to use our templates to elevate your budgeting and work towards gaining your financial freedom.